In this video, I'll be talking about some more things that happened in the update, like flower seeds were completely removed, and also all Halloween items became secret items. A lot of people thought since there would be so many new flowers, there would be flower seeds for all of those flowers, and it would just kind of work like how it already did work. The new way that flowers work is kind of easier, because now whenever you harvest a flower, then you can actually plant it again, which actually makes way more sense than before, because before, you could couldn't plant regular flowers after you harvest them, and then you would get flower seeds. So this makes a lot more sense, and I like the new flower system a lot better, but there are no new flower seeds in this update. Though it seems like all of the currently existing flower seeds, which are only the red, yellow, and blue flower seeds, would become secret items, right? Well, instead of becoming secret items, all of them just disappeared. So if I go over to my inventory and then I search flower seed, or well, not just seed because that will show all of the plant seeds, but if I search flower seed, then there are no flower seeds. So instead of just turning them into a secret item, which I think would be kind of good, they made it so that flower seeds are just like completely removed so if you had flower seeds in your inventory they just disappeared but if you had flower seeds in a vending machine or in a chest then something interesting would happen so whenever you did that instead of just disappearing it would still be in there but the number would change from whatever it was to zero but if you did take the flower seeds out of the vending machine or the chest instead of just going into your inventory well they would go into your inventory but they would also disappear and for some people i think it wouldn't allow them to and they would have to just destroy the chest and then it would be empty again. So that means since there still was something in the game that said the flower seed and whatever color it was, and also it said zero though, but it was still an item. So that means flower seeds are probably still in the game, but like they have something that sets them to zero. Flower seeds are still technically an item, but they're literally impossible to get because whenever you get them, the limit is probably, like you guys know how there's a limit for all items, they probably added a limit to flower seeds, but made it zero. One of my friends was storing his flower seeds inside of an industrial chest, and here's what that looks like now. All of them say zero when they were five before. Well, I don't know if some of them were five, but they are all five or below, but now they're all zero. So there is no actual way to have flower seeds in your inventory anymore. I recommend if you do have a chest or vending machine that had flower seeds in it, and then the flower seeds are set to zero now, then just keep it like that because that's going to be super rare in a while. Like, I used to store all of my stuff in chests on my base, I really wish I left that so that I could have a chest that has zero flower seeds in it. But I really wish flower seeds were made a secret item, because right now all of the secret items are kinda useless, except test totem. You can use the test totem to spawn iron ore, but it used to be a little bit faster than the iron totem, now I'm pretty sure they changed it to be the same speed. But the test totem is the only secret item that you can actually use, not including the Halloween secret items. All of the Halloween items were limited time items, so they weren't originally, like, secret items. So they're not completely secret items. I mean, they are secret items, but they're a different type of secret item because they were limited time. But if flower seeds became a secret item, they'd be like the only secret item that is actually very useful because you could actually plant the flowers instead of having to water them and hope for them to spawn like a really good one. Or actually, I think you can only get the different flowers by them spawning on your island. Like you can only get the red, blue, and yellow lilies by them spawning on your island. So like... It would be way easier if you had flower seeds, because so many people had a lot of flower seeds, so that would be nice if they kept them as secret items, because not only would they be pretty useful, but they would also be pretty rare after a while. But I kinda understand why they made it so that flower seeds aren't a secret item, because some people had a lot of them, and that would kinda make it very easy for people to get all of the lilies, because people could just like plant a whole bunch of the flower seeds, 
or actually they would probably have to update the flower seeds too because the game would be really confused because they would try to grow the old flowers but the old flowers aren't really in the game anymore or wait actually if they kept flower seeds in the game they would probably grow the old flowers still so that's probably why they removed them because now we only have the new flowers but still that would be very interesting if they did have the old flowers in the game and you could only grow them with the old flower seeds and that was all like a whole bunch of secret items now they have these so i am very surprised that all of the currently existing flowers on your island would turn into fertile lilies i thought they would just turn into normal lilies but they turned into fertile ones because well it's just like way better for them to do that because now people already have a whole bunch of flowers if they had flowers on their island so you don't have to start completely from the beginning and here's the part where i'm actually kind of confused so I don't know if you can get non-fertile lilies. All of the flowers in your inventory would turn into regular lilies, so the yellow lily, red lily, and blue lily. And then I have not seen any of the lilies I've planted spawn these. I've only seen the game naturally spawn the fertile lilies on my island. I haven't seen the game spawn any regular lilies, the blue, yellow, and red ones, from any of the flowers, so I don't know if these are secret items. I think these could possibly be secret items. Like, I'm not too sure about that, because I've literally not seen any fertile lilies spawn regular lilies, or the game spawn any regular lilies. So I think it's very likely that these are secret items, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the red lily, yellow lily, and blue lily are all secret items. If they are secret items, they'll probably be worth more, but right now people are trading about 20k for the red and yellow lily, the regular one on average, and then 35k for the blue lily. So if they are secret items, which I think most people don't know they're secret items, because I'm pretty sure they are, but like they're probably going to go up in value. They're basically kind of like how slime keys were very cheap and then now they're a secret item, but slime keys only went up to like 100k or 150k or something. So like they didn't really get that expensive because they were super cheap to begin with. So that's probably going to be the same with these. They're probably going to be 50k soon, maybe even 100k, but they're probably not going to go that much past that. Also, I'm about to clear up some rumors involving the flowers. So bees have literally nothing to do with the flowers at all. Some people think that whenever the bee goes to the flower, it becomes infertile. So like, whenever the bee goes to the flower and then it eats the flower's pollen and then it goes back to the beehive, then the flower will turn into a regular flower. And as you can see, that is completely false. My bees have been eating the flowers like the entire time and then it, nothing happened. They are all still fertile, so that doesn't do anything. And then also, I don't know if bees can eat non-fertile flowers, I haven't really tested that yet, but like, bees, whenever they eat fertile flowers, they don't become infertile, and some people were thinking if the flower is not fertile, if a bee goes to it, then it will become fertile. That is false also. Bees have literally nothing to do with flowers, so unless if they change it later, bees will never have anything to do with flowers, except that they eat them. They don't really eat them, they just take the pollen. Smell. Okay, so anyways, bees have nothing to do with the fertility of flowers, and also, the these are secret, probably, but there are a lot of things with flowers. I might do another video later about flowers, but I guess now on to the second part of the video, the Halloween items, because I have, I'm gonna tell you guys the values of those, and also some other stuff, I don't know, but let's move on to the second part of the video. Okay, so in this update, all of the Halloween items officially became secret items. So that means now they're just going to get even rarer. And they're probably going to do a Christmas event, another Halloween event, and also just maybe some more holiday events. I know they already did a 4th of July event, kinda, because they did a firework update, but that wasn't really a 4th of July event, so I'm not too sure about that. But they might do like an actual event for the 4th of July next year, and have like 4th of the jo 4th, 4th of July in the title and stuff, but it's gonna be good, and there are probably gonna be more events, but anyways, the Halloween event, uh, the values, so the first value of the thing is like, okay, so, uh, pumpkins, 2,500 coins, 
Pumpkin sees 150,000 coins, Jack-O-Lantern 75,000 coins, Lollipop, Orange Candy, and Chocolate Bar 25,000 coins, so all candy is 25,000 coins, Formula 86 200,000 coins, The Witch's Trophy 3 million coins, and those are all the values. Pumpkins are still 10 coins in the shop, so even though pumpkins are a secret items, you can still sell them in the shop for some reason. So I don't know if they're gonna remove them later or if they forgot to remove them, because they did forget to remove a few Halloween things, like they forgot to remove the ghost rolling pin from the baker, because the banker used to have, or not the banker, but the baker, he used to have, like, a regular rolling pin, and it's still the ghost one from Halloween, because he got a ghost rolling pin from Halloween. So they didn't do that, but then the pumpkin, I don't know why people would even sell it for 10 coins in the shop, because they're like secret items now, so you can get way more, it's probably going to raise later. But then all of the other ones are good, the Witch's Trophy is still kinda high demand, Candy is decent demand, Formula 86 is decent demand, Jack-O-Lanterns are kinda low demand, Pumpkin Seeds are normal demand, and Pumpkins are kinda like terrible demand still. Anyways, that's everything I wanted to mention in this video. Flower seeds were removed, all Halloween items became secret items, and some more things involving flowers. But thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think they should have done with flower seeds? Like, what's your opinion about what happened to flower seeds? Should they have become a secret item? Should they just have been removed? Or what should have happened with them? Also, make sure to subscribe with notifications on for more Islands videos like the video, join the Discord server and Roblox group linked in the description for trading and talking out Roblox Islands, and follow my Twitter at Telanthric, I'm trying to hit 2,500 followers there, and 200k subscribers on YouTube. Also linked in the description is a guide called Roblox Islands Guide, and it has basically everything you need to know about Islands on it, so check that out if you need help with anything, because it's probably there, but I'll see you all in the next video, bye YouTube!